well, there's no use of me wearing my glasses. I'm not driving. You know, I do have to sit here and say that a few days ago I was going to make a video talking about the arc closing. I really do believe that just in a matter of a few days, in just a matter of a few days, that that arc is going to close as far as grace is concerned, that I, I really do believe that that is exactly what's going to happen. You know, I'm listening to a video and I stopped it. I should have listened to a whole video, but I, you know, this arc thing that people have been talking about, um, I'm telling you, there has to be something behind this stuff, but I still do not believe that it has anything to do with the rapture. And at least something tells me that this girl in this video is alluding that it is not a pre-tribulation rapture. And they were not raptured out. They were in a place of safety. God led Noah and... Uh, <sighs> What's his name it's in Sodom? Well, either way, they were both led to safety. But that's exactly what I think it is. I'm telling you. Again, I just got done posting a video talking about not hurting the oil and the wine. Why would we think that something, why would God give a scripture referring not hurting the oil and the wine as if there was something coming upon the earth that would keep from doing stuff to somebody out here that would have the Holy Spirit? And, uh, but. Either way, I, I believe it's the truth, man. I I, I mean, I, I realize some people have their own beliefs, but I, I, I still don't believe it's a pre-tribulation rapture. I think people will be spared in a, a certain, I, I don't know how God's going to do it. I don't know if God's going to sit here and boom, you're in one place one day and you're in a different place another. I mean, there, there have been people that have sit here and said that they have been transformed from one place to the other out here. And I believe their messages. You know, there are people out here that have had really big spiritual things that have happened in their life uh, when it comes to God and a message that they've given to people out here. You know, I've witnessed a lot of things and I still believe that day that I was driving down the road and I witnessed the meteor going across the sky for five minutes. got above my head when I pulled over on the shoulder after I made a left hand turn down this road that I ended up running out of room on my trailer to get up, to get to load up the product, the, the septic that I was loading at this oil rig. Uh, that, uh, that's where I pulled over the meteor went across the sky. I got on the meteor society. I Googled something, found out there was no meteor around the area. And I know that God manifested this meteor to me. I'm not even so sure if you'd have been driving down the road behind me, if you'd have ever seen it. I mean, look at all the things that people have witnessed out here. I don't believe everything everybody says out here, but I sure will believe a lot of the things they say, especially at the end of the day, when I know they speak, they speak the truth about salvation. If they don't speak the truth about salvation, I've already said time and time again, I cannot listen to their messages. I don't think they've gotten anything from God. I think they're strictly under a delusion. Anything that they would say they got from God, they did not get from God because there's no way that God is going to be sitting here and accepting people out here that are not preaching the truth but i find this woman she's talking about the ark i sit here and see people in the comment section saying things two people two people even question the woman about what she's preaching as far as salvation one person says you can't lose salvation because if you don't have salvation you've never had it okay so what is this what is this woman alluding to in her video someone else questions questioning about adding to salvation i'm telling you it's not adding when you use the word of god to see that a person has to change their life you cannot keep on living for the devil and say you're a born again Christian and you got the Holy Spirit. How are you living for the devil? Because you've not allowed the Holy Spirit to change your life to where you are living a different life. And that is why the reason you're saved by grace. 
But see, here's the deal. If it has, if we're saved by grace through faith, and evidently there is a message about faith there. And then, and then you go back to the pleasing God thing. If you have faith and then you talk about the flesh and you're not pleasing God, man, I mean, this is a, this is a long, I mean, I may not have everything figured out, but I know right now you're supposed to allow the Holy Spirit to change your life. And the, the reason why a lot of people talk about works as if, as if whoever they're talking against is, is they talk against works. It's because somebody's telling you about how you're living your life and you don't like to be told how you're living your life. It's just like this judging thing. The reason why so many Christians will say you're not supposed to judge is because they don't like being told that the way that they've been told, whoever is giving the message is telling Telling you that you're not living right. You're not supposed to judge. Okay. Well then what would be the whole idea about a watchman warning someone? What would be the whole idea that if you're even not a watchman and you're someone out here and somebody gives you a message that you can be saved, that you're trying to help someone. The ark is about to close and I can guarantee you it's going to have to do with grace. Because why, why would, why would God care about anybody that's not on the ark? It has to do with grace one way or another. I would love to sit here and be on the bandwagon with people about a pre-tribulation rapture, but unless the wrath of God is going to be poured out in the next week, there is no rapture of the church. Somebody in the comment sections, well, I don't listen to visions and dreams. Well, then why did God give visions and dreams? He didn't just give visions and dreams to someone to give someone out here that's a non-believer. He gave the visions and dreams to people out here so they would, well, a lot of it's encouragement. I'm telling you, I'm not trying to be such a negative person when I make videos that when people run across my videos that people hate my videos. you got to be kidding me. But I'm going to tell you, if you're so caught up in what you've been brought up to believe as a Catholic, a Baptist, a Nazarene, a Pentecostal, whatever church, because this is, I'm telling you, at the end of the day, the basis of most people's beliefs is what the church has preached to them. And even the people out here on the internet, that if you get a lot of information from them, where do you think they got their information from the churches out here? What if those people were wrong back in those days of the, uh, uh, of the, uh, four or 500 years ago or in the last hundred years, the same things happened in the last hundred years. As a matter of fact, it just wasn't the Reformation like it was back then. There you go. I see. I remember the name. I'm telling you, I don't, you cannot sell your soul to, to these people out here. That's what it sounds like to me that, that if God tells me in the Bible that your lampstand or whatever can be taken or you can be blotted out or a dog going back to its vomit or a shipwrecked or that you can be, uh, what's that, disqualified, that even Paul himself admitted, even after giving the message that he gave the human beings and everyone out there, whether you were a Jew or a Gentile, because yes, he did speak to Gentiles, but don't think a Jew didn't hear. I mean, there's a, Paul isn't the only one that ever spoke to a Gentile. It just so happens he was the one that Jesus pointed out to talk to the churches out there that were not necessarily the Jewish or the Hebrews or whatever they were, whatever you want to call. I'm telling you right now, he could have even been disqualified, but he kept to the faith to the end, to the end, just like we're supposed to be to the end. And, uh, and the thing about it is, I, I, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of people can sit here and say that there's a falling away because of a, of a, of a, a shot that you could take and you not be right with God. I'm going to tell you, I don't think it even has anything to do with that. I don't think the falling away has anything to do with no MOB. I still don't. 
I don't know if you have to lose your life for Christ. I don't know if there's going to be a door opened up for you out here. I don't know what, I don't know what people have intended. I mean, I can guarantee you this right now. I could live in a multi-million dollar house. And if I was a true born again Christian and I wasn't deceived because of what money does to an individual, then, then I'm going to tell you this right now. I don't care about that million dollar house because that million dollar house ain't going to get me nowhere. That's what I would do in the last few days right now is I would make up my mind right now. Do I care about what I witness? Where do I go? God, open up a door for me, please. Because you're going to need a place of safety. And you know what? If you're not willing to, and you're willing to let things happen to you, I, what, am I telling you to fear? Am I telling you to fear? I'm not telling anybody to fear that. One thing you ought to be fearing is your salvation on the line. I used to use those words. It's not a scare tactic. It's 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 not a um, scare tactic. It's, it's a care tactic. A care. That I care. I care. I really do. Just because I don't sit here and say in certain videos like people... I know that I don't always use this and I can't even remember the last time I said all glory to God. But am I, am I literally making all these videos for myself? Was, I mean, ever, if you're supposed to be a disciple, making a person a disciple, you're, that you're supposed to be furthering the kingdom. I'm not trying to lead people away from the kingdom. It seems like all these people out here that are lying out here thinking everybody's, they're praising everybody because they think they got the ultimate message when they're leading you astray. I'm going to tell you that right now. They are leading you astray. Well, yeah, either way, uh, our salvation is on the line. I mean, as much as I as much as I want to just sit here and say all you got to do is believe the gospel, you're good. As, as much as I want to say that, because there are times that I tend to sit here and think, okay, is it that easy? Is it that easy? I mean, you know, if 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 when people sit here and say it's so easy, a child, well, yes, but even a child, if, if they picked up the Bible and they and they could rightly divide what the Bible would say. <clears throat> They probably would have never went into a life of sin when they got to a certain age. They would have said, you know, I need to be faithful to the Lord. I need to, I need to, you know, if I do this and I do that, I need to keep my guard up, my armor on, stay away from these certain people. If I, if I run across somebody, they say, hey, you want to go get drunk? Just you know, uh, you know, I've got other things I got to do. I've got it. I mean, don't lie to somebody. I'm not going to tell you to lie to someone. I mean, but I, you know, you, you, if, if, if this is what Christians were, this is what young people were supposed to do as a Christian growing up. Then when they go to they go to college, hey, we're gonna have a big party this weekend. Oh, no, I'm good, man. You know, I, I, I'd I'd love to, but you know, I've just been brought up to believe that this is no good for my life. I don't care what you gotta say. Not that oh, well, all you gotta do is believe, and you know, if you wanna go do that, that's the garbage message. That's the garbage message. That's the garbage message. That's the garbage message that the that they're telling you that you can be of the flesh and of the spirit and the, the darkness and the light. You can be a part of both and you cannot. This is the garbage message they're preaching to you out here. You have to be a doer of the word. So why can you just believe in the gospel and be saved, but not be a doer of the word and have a, and, and be under a delusion? See? My truck's making all kinds of noises. I got it turned off. It's a garbage message. It isn't just simply believing the gospel. It's whatever you read in the gospel, whatever Paul sit here and said, you have to do as a born again Christian, you have to crucify the flesh. 
He denied self. He died to self. This is what Christ said about being a disciple and about being a follower of him. Why would I want to sit here and think that I'm a believer and not try to be a follower of Christ? Because there's no such thing as a difference between them both. There is no such thing as a believer and such thing as a disciple. So you pick up the Bible as a child, you start reading the Bible, you, you equate it to your life, God tells you things, and then you don't harden your heart. This stuff is all supposed to be a part of your life. That's why people aren't getting things from God when they start believing in a lie over the truth is because you've hardened your heart. And if God does give you up to a delusion and does give you a reprobate mind, then a person does deserve exactly what they've done because they've hardened their heart. When God tells you not to hang around a sinner because you can backslide, and that's the whole idea of not hanging around a sinner, is that you can start going back out. So if, if you get this in your life about the armor and not being a friend of the world, not loving the world, uh, you know, putting Christ first and, and having nothing to do with Satan by fighting the temptation and he flees away, he'll always be around the corner hoping to trip you up. And that's where we're at in society today. And people have given in. So I'm going to listen to all these people out here with all their messages sitting here giving their falsehoods and lying to people. And I'm supposed to listen to all, all of them sit here and think that they're rapture worthy at that. I mean, when the rapture does happen, I don't care how many visions and dreams people have had in the last seven years, because so many people have gotten so much from God in the last seven years. You can go as far back as 2015 and see as all the things that people have gotten from God. I don't care if you've had a hundred visions and dreams of a rapture. I still do not believe it's pre-tribulation. Until they flee to the mountains around the time of the abomination of desolation. Unless people just do not know when this stuff happens and it's right around the block. And that's the only way I'm going to think that it's in the next week or so. Other than that, as far as you telling someone and ever anybody ever coming to the saving, saving knowledge is about to close. I sit here and said, I don't even trust our own government for, for hitting the button. Ooh. I don't even trust our own government. Then you hear all the visions and dreams of all the things that's going to happen to the mystery of Babylon. And the thing about it is, who's to say that this doesn't happen before the rapture of the church? You, none of you can prove it. It's not the wrath of God. It's not. Yeah, I heard some scriptures yesterday that a guy posted up pretty darn scary, you know, to be honest with you, of the things that are going to, that are going to be happening real soon. But I'm still thinking, you know, it's not going to be the way everybody sits here and says, I know it's not. I know it's not. Talk about how Russia's got five or six hundred. You know what? When they go after so and so, they're not even going to have the time. Unbelievable this whole time that I've been able to hear certain things and be able to rightly divide what they were. And, and at the end of the day, I can't get off the, I cannot, I cannot break away from it. No matter, no matter how many times that I've witnessed this date, it's just a matter of days away. Doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference that I run across someone's video out here and says on that day that the rapture is supposed to happen. I'm still not going to break away from it. 
Because there, there is a lot of people out here that have witnessed so many things that they automatically assume. Oh, they automatically assume that this is what the message that God's been giving them this whole time. I did three or four years ago. And I've even said of, as of late, it's a possibility. But then that means something's going to happen right around the block. I'm telling you. If it is, then, then, and, 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 uh, man, I'm telling you, I don't believe the horsemen have had, I, I'm not so sure if that stuff has happened. Then again, I, 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 that scripture talking about don't hurt the oil and the wine. Who could that possibly be hurt? Uh, that, that nothing can have hurt the Holy Spirit. So it's not the Holy Spirit. I know not. Oh, man. I, all I know is people are never going to like this message. You're just not, man. And they're just not. And I just imagine that if no nobody even asked to open up a door or, or, or so many people do not even have a relationship with God in the first place, when the time comes, they are going to fall away, man. I mean, I'm not the only one that believes this, but I came up with this on my own before I ever witnessed another person. If it doesn't go the way everybody thinks it's going to go down, how are you going to feel? What's your reaction going to be? Are you going to be able to go, well, you know, I, ain't nobody going to budge my faith. But I don't think that's the way it is. I mean, again, if I just if I sit here and told somebody to give their life to Christ right now, I'm not going to tell you that that the rapture is the very first thing that's going to happen. I can't elude, I can't I can't elude that to them. If something else could happen and they and they're sitting here waiting, oh man, well I'm supposed to get raptured, son of a gun, man. Mm -hmm. You know I'm supposed to get raptured, man. You know these people sit here and tell me I was supposed to get raptured, man. What the heck is going on, man? While they're leading their out, leading someone out to to get their head cut off, you know. Hey, hopefully they don't say that. Hey, do you, does anybody remember a movie back about a year or so ago? This man and woman were about to get married, and this is what happened at the beginning of the movie. They were about to get married. And this is a tribulation movie. Things that were happening. But the rapture happened in this movie. People disappeared and things started happening upon the earth. So this is what the movie alluded to. But th does anybody remember that this man that was about to marry this woman, he just started cussing God out, saying all kinds of things. And then all of, it, all of a sudden he got attacked and killed. That was it. Bye bye. You know, if everybody thinks that you can do whatever you want to do and you're still going to, you're not going to lose your salvation, then I, and I'm not going to dare you, but I, I mean, I, I'm going to use the words dare, but I dare you to go around cursing God if the, if it, if it hits the fan and it's not a pre tribulation. You know, it's pretty sad. I want you to think about this. I made a video last night. I did not upload. Maybe I talked about something in another video prior to that. But could you imagine? Could you imagine calling yourself a Christian? And then all of a sudden you become a Satan worshiper. And then everybody says, hell, this weekend we're going to be murdering a couple of children. What, what, what do you like to eat? Thighs or legs or, or brains? or? Now let me ask you, what do you think God's going to do to that person that you sit here and you say that person can't lose salvation? It's called off to the lake of fire. That's right. Then you need to quit preaching your falsehoods. Sure, I like th thighs. I like legs. Is there a uh, breast involved? Or I mean, you know, I mean, what 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 kind of meat we got? I mean, what are you guys gonna cook it? Uh, you know, is it gonna be what is it called? Uh, runny, or is it gonna be uh, charbroiled, or what do we got? Do we have buttocks involved? I like buttocks. 
I mean, you, you know, uh, <laughs> and then tell me your person can't lose salvation. Don't give me that crap. Don't give me that crap. This has got to be the biggest lie in the history of mankind. Oh, uh, you know, uh, you know, it was it's the same thing Satan did to Adam and Eve right there in the garden. It's the same lie. It's the same lie. Oh, and when the time comes, when that's something like, don't please don't tell me. Well, uh, I'm thinking that person just was not a born again Christian. Well, you know, I mean, heck, the person was a Christian for 15, 20 years. Well, it makes me feel like I'm a know-it-all and know someone's heart, whether their heart was changed or not, or whether they hardened their heart again. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. That isn't making sense. Well, either way, this is not, I mean, uh, man, if I, uh, <laughs> yeah, please, I didn't want to make this a rant video, man. I mean, I literally made a rant video yesterday and I really wasn't trying to make a rant video in this, you know, where I'm rant, 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 telling you. Well, the ark's about to close, and I'm going to tell you right now, whether you're a falsehood believing Christian that has been deceived, that door is going to close on y'all too. Promise you. Promise you. Denying all ungodliness would be denying getting drunk, getting high, fornicating, any sexual immorality, Denying ungodliness and worldly lust, the lust of the flesh. This is what the Holy Spirit was supposed to do when you got grace from the Holy Spirit. Why hasn't the church done this? Deceived. Listening to man's word over God's word. Well, that arc is about to close. I'm going to tell you this right now. And I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if that what happens in a couple of days. And I wouldn't be the least bit surprised when that art closes. Pe certain people will be certain places because they were true to God and God was tr true to them. They ought, they ought, they walked upright. He spiritually protects these people wherever you're at. I mean, you may not even be away from society and there may not be even anything anybody can do to you. It's kind of weird. That I met a friend, uh, a person that I knew for years. And I went years without ever seeing this guy. He worked in a pool. I mean, he uh, he was a pool hall buddy of mine. And I hadn't seen him in years. And all of a sudden, I run across him again. I mean, he was the one that actually told me about driving truck. So, yeah, how long did I know him? I saw him when I took this year off back about three years back. But when did I get my CDL? In like, I was 23, 24. I'm 47. Been 23 years. I knew him back then. And he was the one that told me to drive truck for a living. I'm not lying. And, uh, but I ran across him in that year, that year I had off back two or three years ago. And I was talking to him and he told me literally a guy got mad at him one day and was walking right over to hit him and do all kinds of things to him because he got mad at him, mad at him and literally just walked right by him. Somehow this guy just literally walked right by him. I mean, wouldn't that be crazy if you got somebody mad at you and they were going to walk over and kick your butt or do whatever they were going to do and then they just walked on by? What? <laughs> Man, that was crazy. Matter of fact, I think if somebody is true to God, I'm not so sure a lot of things will happen to an individual. 
I'm not going to say if you're in the wrong woods, no bear that's going to attack you, God's going to do. I mean, people die all the time in car accidents. People that are born again, things happen. Somebody dies of cancer. It may be their time, but either way, I can't guarantee that nothing's not going to happen to someone out there, but I'm not so sure if you have to be just anywhere out here and no one can do nothing to you. And that God, God provides for people out here that are true to him. And he's true to them. Walk upright. Be righteous. And it's because the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, if I'm going to ruin this video, this is where I'm going to ruin the video. I Googled it one day. Do people think, did, did people think that, that Christ had the Holy Spirit before the dove came down? You know, the, uh, and, and some people believe that he had the Holy Spirit beforehand. And of course, of course, afterwards, but some people believe he had the Holy Spirit beforehand. I don't really know. It's just up for grabs. So I'm sure somebody out there is going to say no, because when the dove came down or whatever, whatever the, the situation, you know, that you're reading in the Bible, when this happened, that that's when the, he received the Holy Spirit. Well, I don't know what to say about that, but I'm not going to, how did I ruin the video? Because I'm not alluding to yes or no. The Holy Spirit being led by takes a person out of the law. What about the people that do not have the Holy Spirit? They're going to be judged under the law. You have to have a forgiveness of sin. You've already seen the scripture in the Bible of having, you have to be covered under the blood. Some blood, and, and, and you can't do no sacrifices no more. And there's, the law has no effect any really. I mean, I know no one's going to be able to keep it fully. And when anybody preaches it, I don't understand why. Uh, yeah, people are... That, that arc is about to close. I know it is. I know it is. I, I just can't prove that that's exactly what happens that day. But I know it's about to close. I think it is what happens that day. I don't know if there's something else that happens. I mean, there could be the financial crash in a few days. There could be this. There could be that. Uh, Until that destruction and the ground cracks and all that, I'm not going to believe in no pre-tribulation rapture. Unless that's in the next few days. And, uh, but then it's going to be so bad. It's going to be so bad. All right. Well, somewhere, one way or another, I got to put in the in the title that the ark is about to close. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, man. I literally was going to make a video and title it this, and uh, unless I'm unless I made the video and just didn't title it that. Well, I knew, I knew I wouldn't get a thumbs up on that. I know somebody will probably give me a thumbs up on that oil and the wine thing, but I should have said, just give me a thumbs up. I still don't want to open up the comment section. There's nothing for me to talk about with anyone. There's nothing for somebody else to talk about with somebody else. I mean, there ain't nothing I can do.